30 years, right? That's quite something. And I sat here this morning and I saw um, the Sunday school children numbering almost 500. I took a flashback to 1994 when we were less than 10 families. I'm not among the people who came to clear the grass. I'm told there, there was an, a, a team that came to slash the grass. But I was there when, the, when we were doing the tent. And uh, from that small tent with a few of us to a church of 3,000 people, we have reason to celebrate. It is not celebration in vain. It is a real celebration. We have seen God's blessing, God's providence, God's faithfulness. And that is why today, Milimani, from a church in a tent, we now have this magnificent building from a few people, less than 10 families, to 3,000 people. We want to thank God for Milimani and to thank God for AIC. Many nations go astray. We must thank God for Kenya. We have a special country. We have a blessed nation. A nation that believes in God, that is unashamed about Christ. And the more I see what's, what God is doing in Kenya, the more I am persuaded that Kenya is a truly blessed nation. And as you have seen Milimani grow, so has our country grown. We have seen God's blessings all the time in making our country better, making our country safer, making our country truly blessed. I am very happy that from the humble beginnings of our nation, today we have a nation that stands out globally, a nation that many nations look up to for leadership, for support. Sometimes we underestimate what Kenya is. Kenya is a great nation and we should be proud of this nation that God has given to us. Just two days ago, the Prime Minister of Haiti was here with gratitude for what our policemen are doing thousands of kilometers away from Kenya. The United Nations, a union or a, a, a coming together of close to 200 nations in the world identified Kenya as the nation that would lead the multinational support mission in Haiti because of our history, because of what the world thinks of us. And so we have grown as a nation the same way Milimani has grown from very humble beginnings to what we see today. And we must always thank God for what he is doing for us in church, in our lives, and in our nation. Even as we roll out our universal health coverage program, I want to thank faith-based 
institutions that run hospitals in Kenya for stepping forward and partnering with us. Today, we have registered close to 12.8 million people under the new UHC program because it is our intention to make sure that no Kenyan is left behind on matters health. For the first time, every Kenyan will have a health insurance for the first time. And it is because that's what the Bible says, that's what the Bible teaches, that we lift those at the bottom. It is the reason why our housing program, I'm very proud of what Mukuru is looking like. I'm very happy with what Kibra is looking like. Informal settlements, places where there, were, there are no toilets, there is no water, there is no road. Today, if you go to Mukuru, the 14,000 houses we are building, where somebody living in Mukuru for the first time can now not rent, but own a house by paying 3,000 shillings. That's, that's my mission, to make sure that we create a nation of equals, a nation that evens us and makes us truly Kenyan together. In Luke 9.62, and Jesus says, no one who puts his hands on the plow and looks back is worth the kingdom of God. We must not look, we must not look back, and I will not look back in making sure that I oversee the transformation of Kenya. I ask for your support, I ask for your prayer, implementing some of the transformational changes to change our nation requires prayers, requires commitment. But I want to promise you that this nation, the nation we love, this country, the country of Kenya, by God's grace, we're going to change it. I am very confident we're going to change this nation. And I want to thank you for what you're doing in church. I want to ask you, in the service of God as Christians, do not look back. Let us do the missions that we have planned to do, build the sanctuaries that we have planned to do, and whatever it is that you require from those of us in government, we will be there to support you and to support uh, God's work. As I said last week, God's work in Kenya will proceed unhindered by whatever means. We will make sure that because we are unapologetic about our faith, we are committed to making sure that Kenya moves forward and a nation that believes in God because our constitution says with clarity, God of all creation. That is who we believe in. From the first of uh, this month, we rolled out our program that now has 10,000 young people working. I want to promise you that uh, the river you have in Nairobi, in two years time, you will have a different river in Nairobi. Because we cannot have the headquarters 
of World Environment, UNEP in Nairobi, and have the dirty river that we have. It is an indictment on us. And so uh, I intend to work with all the stakeholders to make sure that we straighten things there and make sure that we live in a city that befits to be the environmental headquarters of the world. So to all of us, um, I will be meeting also the leadership of Nairobi shortly because there are close to 10,000 children who are not going to school in Nairobi. And that is very serious. So I will be meeting the members of parliament. We have already provided resources because we want to build an extra 5,000 classrooms in Nairobi to make sure that all our children, especially those who live in informal settlements, go to school. Because that's what we must do as we serve humanity and as we serve God.